In this week's BCM 112 lecture, we looked at collective intelligence and how the internet has influenced the audience and user relationship. For my remediation, I decided to attempt to get myself banned from Twitter. Recommended by Travis, I decided to start simple, so I started my own Twitter and gave him a profile picture before tweeting out to BuzzFeed, referring to the meme of Learn to Code that saw many users having their accounts banned or suspended in January of this year. While I was excited to explore other ways I could get banned, I found that it was more interesting investigating Twitter's response to their banning regulations. In an episode of Joe Rogan's podcast, he had American journalist Tim Pool, who criticised Twitter uh, for having a liberal bias. In the next clip, you see the Twitter executives respond to this. So your platform restricts speech. Our platform promotes speech unless people violate our rules. And in a specific direction. In any direction. I, I, I think an, an important point is, if I tweeted to you, Joe, Joe, you are not a hamster. That's clearly not a violation of the rules. However, there if are... I identify there, as a hamster. Well, no, uh, it, it wouldn't be. clear Because I, uh, I know people who have specifically begun using insults of animals to avoid getting kicked off the platform for breaking the rules. Certain individuals who have been suspended now use certain small woodland creatures in place of slurs, so they're not really insulting you, and it's fine. But there are people who consider themselves trans species. Now, I'm not trying to belittle the trans community by no means. I'm just trying to point out that you have a specific rule for one set of people, and they're, 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 so there are people who have general body dysphoria. You don't have rules on that. There are people who have actually amputated their own arms. You don't have rules on that. You have a very specific rule set. And in, m more importantly, in the context of a targeted uh, conversation, I can say a whole bunch of things that would never be considered a rule break, but that one is, which is ideologically driven. Yeah, thank you for the feedback. I mean, we're, we're again, always learning and um, trying to understand different people's perspectives. And uh, all I'll say is that our intent is not to police ideology. Our intent is to police behaviors that we view as abusive and harassment. And I hear your point of view, and I, it's something that I'll definitely discuss with my team. And Though Twitter deny the claims of having any bias, there is an overwhelming amount of examples of their hypocrisy. In today's digital age, there is no need for gatekeepers. To me, the whole point of the internet is to share our knowledge and opinions, and within reason, I don't believe that anyone's political point of view should be silenced by a social media platform. Back to getting banned on Twitter, I'm currently still not banned, with the best I could do was having my account locked, but this is more related to the spam of following people, which Twitter state can get yourself locked, suspended, or banned if they suspect you're a bot. I think getting banned by Twitter while adhering to their guidelines is a blurry area for people with a larger audience, and not something that directly impacts users like myself. While I do agree with Tim Pool and his judgement on Twitter, I think that acting as a home to such a large community of internet users is no easy feat, but luckily for Twitter, the internet makes the website a constant online beta, allowing it to improve and adjust accordingly.